This was a young male, somebody who could get into the house and get out in that neighborhood without being seen. Someone who knew the victim or victims, knew the layout of the house, uh, knew how to get entry into the house. There was no indication of a forced entry. No. I don't think it was two people because the more people you had going into that house, the more likely that it is that they were going to be seen. So I think it's one male young enough to have been in that neighborhood. Um, he had to be somewhat confident that... This is Reporter Room with Welcome Jessica Della Davies. Room. My name is Jessica Della Davies, and today we're going to be talking about the Idaho 4 case. Okay, guys, we have a lot to talk about today. We're going to be talking about John Jack Showalter and this report concerning the footprints that were found outside of a student's home on Wednesday. So John Jack Showalter AKA food truck guy is not to be confused with Jack Decor. Jack Decor was Kaylee's ex-boyfriend, but John Jack is the man seen lurking around in the food truck video of Kaylee and Maddie on the night that they were done away with. Did he follow them from the bar to the food truck? He appears to just be standing around, look kind of lurking and watching them. He's not buying food. And we also have Kaylee's sister, Alavia, who seemed to be very interested in a comment that was posted. And here's her comment. So it talks about Jack Showalter being allowed to go overseas. And she wants to know, does anyone know anything about this? We've also heard the comment from Kaylee's dad, Steve, about being upset that someone was allowed to flee the country without giving DNA. Now, we are learning that law enforcement is frustrated with Steve and I understand that police want to protect the integrity of their case, but this is a grieving parent and he just wants to know what happened to his daughter and her friends. So I'm going to talk about those footprints and where John Jack is now and why he fits the profile in just a moment. So please stay with me. Everything I'm sharing with you today is my opinion and opinions are not facts. So please don't send any negativity to anyone. Let's be kind and good to each other. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up so I know you were here. John Jack Schulwalter does look like a person of interest. John Jack lived in an apartment complex right next to the house on King Road where these four innocent people were done away with. And Xana allegedly has him on one of her TikTok videos where he's inside, actually inside the King Road home. And he refers to an alter ego, an alter ego that he says comes out when he's drinking and he calls this alter ego Terry. This is really creepy, you guys. So John Jack would have been familiar with the house. Moreover, we are learning that he is an avid hunter. I wanna urge caution though, because there are a lot of people who hunt big game in Idaho. However, this guy is setting off alarms for a lot of you. So let's continue on, shall we? Here are side-by-side -side photos of John Jack and the food truck guy. Here's another side-by-side -side of John Jack and the food truck guy. And I believe these photos prove that John Jack is the guy who was lurking around the food truck. I'm going to talk more about John Jack's parents and their financial situation and how that may be influencing the case in just a moment. So please stay with me. But let's talk about John Jack's bizarre behavior for a moment. He was reportedly kicked out of his fraternity for quote, anger issues. And he was also kicked out of the corner club for quote, being weird to girls. That also fits the profile. We also know that he's been inside the King Road home and his location where he lives is close to the home on King Road. The fact that he's lurking around Maddie and Kaylee at the food truck just hours before they're done away with is really concerning. The fact that he's been removed from his fraternity for anger issues and removed from the corner club for being weird to women is also concerning. We also have this photograph of John Jack wearing this mask. Then we're looking at the mask in the doorbell cam footage. Now this does not look like the same mask. And if you haven't seen the video I did on the doorbell cam footage guy, 
you will want to watch this next. I will link it for you in the description below. So mask guy to me is a potential suspect. I want to talk about John Jack's parents. They're both wealthy and well-connected. They're both physicians and John Jack has an alibi but his alibi was provided by his parents. He allegedly went to a cabin that was around five hours away that night. But again, this information was provided by his parents who allegedly removed him from Moscow, Idaho and took him to Africa. Now, was this done to avoid law enforcement or was this a planned trip? Law enforcement have told us that they don't believe that John Jack is involved and that it could be that they were able to rule him out by some other means that we don't know about yet. But it could also be that this is just a ploy because remember, law enforcement is allowed to lie to protect their investigation. When we juxtapose the profiler's description of who this might be, that it was a male between the ages of 18 and 40, the fact that it was someone who knew the victims and was probably familiar with the house, and the fact that he was lurking around in the vicinity of Maddie and Keely, I think that he is a viable suspect in my opinion. Now consider the fact that Kaylee's dad, Steve, talked about being upset. And at the time I thought he was talking about Jack Decor, but I think now he was actually talking about John Jack. And he said that he was upset because this person was allowed to flee the country without giving DNA evidence. And it's becoming clear that he is most likely talking about John Jack, in my opinion. So is this why Steve has been forced to hire a private investigator? Because John Jack's parents are not poor, so he may be concerned that justice will not be brought for his daughter. Now I'm urging caution because this guy has not faced any formal charges and everyone is innocent until proven guilty. But let's talk about those footprints because this is really creepy. A student reported on Wednesday that there were footprints in the snow near her back patio that were not there before she left for class at the University of Idaho. Here is the footprint and here is the screenshot of the police report. So is the perpetrator still lurking around in Moscow, Idaho, or is it like what Kaylee's dad thinks and somebody made their way to another country without having to give DNA evidence? So the Moscow Police Department press log says that a 911 call was made Wednesday by a student to report a suspicious person slash circumstance at a residence on Sweet Avenue, which is not far from the 1122 King Road residence where Kaylee, Madison, Ethan, and Zana were found. She said there were footsteps in the snow leading up to her back patio. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Subscribe.